All right guys, so today we are in a new home build neighborhood over by the Cobb Theater in Lakeland, Florida. What we're looking for is signs of entry point. Uh, these guys here called this out because they have uh, signs of rats. They have noises and scratching behind their walls from their attic space. Um, so we're here to take a look at that, giving them a full home inspection. And while I'm doing that, I'm gonna show you guys what to look for while you are out in the field looking at these houses, doing your own exterior inspections, roofing inspections, attic inspections, so on and so forth. Uh, we do this all the time and there's a lot of things that a lot of um a lot of home inspectors unfortunately miss um they don't know what to look for they're not looking for signs of wildlife on houses and compromised attic spaces and insulation and so on and so forth so today we're going to show you what to look for we want to try to find a uh, space about the size of a quarter if it's the size of a quarter a rat can get in there if it's the size of a dime a mouse can get in there we also want to look for signs of bad entry points. Reason being, I like to critter-proof these homes so they don't have to worry about any forms of wildlife whatsoever. Um, so when it comes to bats, they can get in as small of a space, about the size of a number two pencil. All right, so up here, a little closer look at the soffit structure. So this right here leads right to the attic space. That gap there. That look about the size of a of a dime, it sure does. Quarter can fit right there. Not a lot of that, not a lot of activity here. Raccoons, possums, you name it, like to crawl in these areas. This is called a roof angle. This is where this this plane meets another plane. Where the soffit runs right into the roof. This is where the majority of the wildlife love to enter in. Whether it's squirrel, bat, rat, mouse. Whatever the case is, man, even raccoon, possum, everything, you name it. They love entering into those areas. And then over here, you got these pipe stacks. These need to be sealed off completely. Um, this is a newer home, so there's no signs of chewing, gnawing from squirrel or rat or anything around here, which is good. <clears throat> With this being a new home, watch this. Let's see. This should have a screen on it. There's no screen. There's no uh, debris around here, so this tells me that this is not from the dryer. This lets the attic space breathe, so this is a wide open gap. This size, about this thick, it's right to the attic space. That's not stopping any form of wildlife, pest, you name it, from getting into the home. So I'm going to show you what it looks like. That's the, that's the client. <laughs> so there, is, there is no screen, should be one right here. So, nothing there. But at this roof angle over here, so we see signs of feces right here. That's rat poop. All right, so these right here are ridge vents. These are new ridge vents to new home builds. A lot of new home builds don't have them though. They usually have a larger ridge vent. It goes about from here to here. And they look a little something like this. All right, so right now we're going to take a look where the wall meets the soffit, all the way to the top. And again, if a number two pencil can fit in that space up there, so can a bat. Look for all this area up here. The full exterior. That area right there. Right there. That needs to be sealed off. So whenever we find a space like that over there, where a pencil can fit in, what we end up doing is we also look for signs of feces along the side of the wall, like right there as well. We look for signs of tar, dirt. Um, tracking going in and going in and out of that area I don't see anything as of right now so the good news is I don't have to worry about that looking for signs of feces bat guano lizard rat mice looking for a little bit of everything just to make sure look in the corners on edges right here that's that's a compromised space see so right here that leads right to your to your attic space. So the soffit, the holes in the soffit are giving your attic space um, an area to breathe. 
And with doing so, I mean, that's this is all compromised right here. This is all compromised issues. This is a brand new home build. These guys just moved in this last year. You can tell, look how, look how open these gaps are. You can tell the community just by looking at it. We call these cookie cutter communities. <clears throat> all new home builds, brand new houses, only a couple years old. And they already are built with these defects right here. Right here, there's more more open soffit. Look at all that soffit right there. Hmm. You got chewing. Yeah, chewing. Yep. We look where all this activity here is. Take a look for any holes going into the building. Underneath these boxes here, make sure there's no space large enough for mice, rat. It needs to be sealed off. Again, it's right to your attic space. So this AC unit doesn't have an AC chase necessarily, but where it's coming to the house, I mean, look at this right here. My finger can literally fit, fit in there. This is just foam. This stuff here is just foam. Anything that has teeth and claws can chew through this so easily, get access directly into that wall there. That's compromised, that's an issue. We gotta seal that off. So we look for these things. For all signs of entry points, all hoses, all holes along the sides of the home, just to make sure it's fully sealed. If not, we come in and we seal it off ourselves, obviously. Look for signs of digging, burrowing in the exterior, down here at the base, right up against the wall, or close to the wall. Got their dog outside. Look for feces, signs of tracking anywhere at all. Don't see anything here. These guys do have like a Bahia in St. Augustine grass mixture here just attracts a lot of grubs chinch bugs mole crickets attracts things like armadillo which you can tell here it's an issue so just some curious armadillos there's no burrowing anywhere which is good we don't want to find burrows that can compromise the foundational structure of the building look around these areas here where there's moisture that's collected any rat feces oh, i got some frogs and some toads You wanna, little guy's foot's hanging out. Just wanna make sure there's no signs of rat feces anywhere. So these are some other photos of some other homes. This here is obviously a J-Vent. Let me show you that a second ago, it's wide open. Uh, this here is called a ridge cap. On each side of that cap, it is wide open for wildlife to get into and other pests. This here, the light fixture there wasn't installed accordingly. and actually pulling down that soffit allowing entry point to your attic space for wildlife and other pests here you got some wires from cable companies that run up to the soffit structure a lot of times exposing that for pests to get into the home um, once again obviously where the soffit meets the home you want to be checking those all the time <clears throat> uh, some soffits can vary in different types of materials as you can tell here this here is a chimney. We want to make sure we're inspecting these chimneys. These are other signs of entry points on these chimneys. This is one as well. We actually found a mama raccoon and its babies here inside this chimney. <clears throat> so definitely is a problem. This here is damage caused. See the gnawing there on the side of the soffit there. Uh, but that was a torn soffit completely from a raccoon. That was into an attic space, uh, which is from that roof angle as an entry point. And right here we're showing you more roof angles um, to kind of be looking for because sometimes they look a little different in different houses. So always, always a major problem for all forms of wildlife and other pests. This here is where the siding meets each other at a corner of a building. We call this a corner cap. Uh, another example of a corner cap as well. It's easy access for snakes and everything else you name it. This here is an AC chase at the bottom. Somebody likes to try to tape and foam off usually. It's a little bit better picture of the outside of it. That doesn't work, man. Anything that has teeth and claws can chew right through it. Uh, this is a uh, really thin, galvanized, rusted material that uh, wildlife just chewed right through. through the pipe stack, there's it's chewed through the top of that pipe stack. You can see it there. 
Uh, these are just some other houses that we want to show you guys that sometimes you go to houses and you think it's just going to be a run-down building, maybe a $50,000 house, $100,000 house. Obviously, you guys can tell some of these homes are very luxurious homes that, once again, we circled all the different entry points that were on these buildings uh, that were wide open for pests and wildlife to get into. So each one of these highlighted areas, as you can tell, needs to be fully sealed off. And those are problematic uh, issues that we need to be looking for. All right, enjoy the rest of the inspection, guys. So as you guys can see, there's a big issue that's a huge oversight in this industry. In the housing community, we've got to think about these things when doing our inspections. In you know, all these houses here, guys, that you see, again, new home build community, a lot of gaps still in these homes. And unfortunately, 86% of all houses here in the US have a wildlife problem. And only 24% of homeowners actually report a problem 